Welcome to the chaos. Time and time again, over the last six, seven months since I changed my hair to what is now my signature red and black 2000s inspired stripey kind of deal. I have been bombarded with requests to make a hair tutorial. Rightfully so. This is the best hair choice I have ever made and it was the biggest confidence boost I could have possibly asked for besides getting my belly button pierced. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do it. A fair warning though, this is only how I touch up the red and the extensions. The ones that I have under here, I dyed these from a different color red, which I previously removed the color. Lunar Tide's hair colors was kind enough to send me a bunch of dye that we're using in today's video. I used both um, Blood Moon and Eclipse Black. I'm very excited to show you this process. And thank you so much to Lunar Tides for providing the dye for today. I've never tried them before, so. Okay, I'm in bed right after filming that. That was a blatant lie. I tried, <laughs> that's why I laughed. I tried their pink years ago and I liked it, which is great. I'll I'll show a photo of it. I love and miss her every single day. I would never go back to pink hair though. I filmed the entire process of every... The universe does not want me to film. This has happened three times. I just have it plugged in now. We're on the other side of my desk. I'm kneeling for this. Quick sidebar before we jump in. If you're curious on how I do my makeup, I've already uploaded a makeup tutorial. Feel free to check that out after this. The only difference in the makeup that I have on this second is that I added a little bit of red eyeshadow underneath. I hope this is nice and informative for you if you also would like some red and black striped hair. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to how I do it. I wish there was more, but it's really just picking out pieces that are about an inch or so big, maybe a little bit less. And I use a high lift dye on my roots when they come in. My hair is naturally like an auburn copper kind of color. Um, not quite red, not quite brown. That's what it would be if I were touching up the roots, but we're just touching up the red and that's it. But this is the final product. Also after one wash, I did this about a week ago and I hadn't filmed this part of the video where I explained that. But this is after one wash and it's holding up quite well if you ask me.
I got one more. My back is suffering so bad. It just like watched me kill my back for like, oh my god, I definitely just got black on it. Shoot. Why was that such a battle? Last thing I need to do is just kind of like pull apart a little bit to make sure I don't, I don't care. So my mom's on her way over to do these photos when I'm rinsing. It looks like a crime scene in my bathroom. I think a good testament to this dye is if it comes out easily with household bleach. My hands aren't too bad. This is just kind of what to expect. It is unfortunate that I got it on my brand new tattoo. I need to immediately start bleaching my counter so my mom doesn't behead me, even though my bathroom already looks like that. Um, whereas other red dyes that I've used tend to look a little bit purple or bluish. This looks bloody. Oh, it's lifting very quick. Okay, that's great. Here's me after taking the photos that my mom did of me while rinsing. Um, looking so bonkers. I'm just gonna voice over some of this part because this is a styling what everyone wants to see. So I use the Revlon thermal brush to start. My hair is about 80% air dried, if not a little bit less. This is really just for smoothing it out. Um, I go in with the thing I actually use to style it, but this is to make sure it's totally dry and ready to go for the next part, all smoothed out and pretty. I also like to add these little flips at the end. It kind of prepares me for which direction I want the curls to go with the next tool but I got this at Target. We are halfway done, hello. I just brushed my bangs back. Over time, I swear my bangs have just trained to kind of do that. There is a thing that I do in the next part that makes them do the thing though, I promise you. So next side, the same exact thing. You can get a better view on this side though. I am not a fan of rollers because they tend to yank at my hair. So the closest thing I do to that is taking this brush and brushing the top of my hair back because if I were to put in rollers, I think you're supposed to do them away from your face from the top of your head, on the top of your head I mean, so that it creates some more volume, but I'm not about to do that, to be honest with you. So I just brush it back instead. Here's a quick little 360 of what my hair looks like, A, with the dye freshly done, and B, what my hair looks like when it's dry. 
So I do not want to tell my secret, but this is the Revlon Blowout Curls tool. I swear by this thing. I began using it and I want to say September or October and I have not put it down since. This is the secret to how my hair looks and I will show you exactly how I do it. So simple. It's painfully easy. You just take little sections of the hair. I recommend an inch to two inch sections, kind of similar to how I would pattern the dye, right? And it's very, very loud. All the clips are muted, but it's very loud, um, which is fine. It's worth it. And you just curl it as if it were in a curling iron. Hold it for three or four seconds and it's done. It doesn't matter so much which direction the curls at the back of my head are going. I also only curl the bottom part of my hair. The sections that are red and closest to my face, I like to curl inwards. I always was told to curl outwards and that that is more flattering. I actually found the inverse for me. You might too, so definitely try that out. Um, it's so romantic looking. Oh, I love it. I'm not actively watching it while I'm recording the voiceover, but for my bangs, I just take the absolutely fried section at the front of my hair, which I call my bangs, and I curl it away from my face. I like to hold it for a second and I let it down. The trick is to hold it horizontal above your head, not just kind of holding it vertically to the side of your head, but right above it. I let the curls set in place while I look like a founding father. And now we style the extensions. All right, listen, I tried so hard to be a normal person while doing this part. I ended up succumbing to being an absolute freak and holding it in my mouth while I curl it, but it is the most efficient way to do it. And I promise I just wash them. It's not super... Ugh, it is gross. Listen, if you don't like it, mind your business. I ended up just going back to holding it underneath my chin. I couldn't bear the thought of me being on camera holding an extension weft in my mouth. Digital footprint. So... It's already there, whatever. When I curl my extensions, I apply the same principle that I did to curling my real hair. So bottom half of the extensions and the only the parts that are closest to my face go inwards. another showing of the styling of my hair, and finally the installation process of my extensions. My extensions are from Bellamy Hair, even the ones that are red, they're just from a blonde set that I had. And that blonde set in particular held up really well because like I said, there was another red on there previously. I think those might've been the ones that I used for the pink years ago. You can see this when I put the first half of my hair forward alone, it comes to life so much. I'm being so serious when I say I do not feel like myself when my hair is not like this. I also forgot to trim this one side of it, so here's me actively doing that. There's really just lots of messing around with it at this point. I don't use hairspray or anything, it makes my hair a little bit too sticky. 
I truly love the dark red tone to this dye. And we're back at the end result. So thank you so very much for watching. I'm so thankful that you're here and I'm primarily focused on music things and I also started a brand, Cultured Chaos. We focus on throwing some raves, some car meets, um, some shows down the line. Being that I am a musician myself, this does include my music and I will finally be able to perform because my big issue was not really knowing anyone who could kind of help me out with this and I don't know how to book a show by myself. So this is a wonderful opportunity for me to finally be able to fulfill my soul's desire to play music live because it's all I've wanted all along. So thankful that you're here and I will see you in my next video. If you so kindly could, Follow me on Instagram and follow my brand to stay updated on everything that we and I do. And I'll see you soon.